Prepare your battlefield. Devise rules, build, flick, play. Kugo is a box full of high quality wooden blocks, which can be used to create and play a diverse range of tabletop dexterity games. A toolkit for creative disc flickers. That's the hook. I'm Adam Porter. I design games and I review them on this channel with a focus on product design. If you like what I do, please subscribe, comment, and share the video. This video is a little bit different to my usual content in that it's a preview for an upcoming product. But I want to make clear, this isn't a paid preview. I was approached by Michael Allen, a British designer, who asked me to take a look at Kugo, a game created by Michael and his family. Now, I don't normally say yes to Kickstarter previews, but if you've been watching for a while, you'll know that I'm a sucker for flicking games. And Kugo just looked great. So I agreed to check out the game, no fee attached, just a complimentary copy of the game. So you can be sure this is my honest opinion. Michael is intending to launch Kugo on Kickstarter in June 2023. If you're interested in the game, I'll put a link to the Kickstarter pre-launch page in the video description. So here's the packaging. Some sharp graphic design, a rule sheet describing seven playable games, plus a QR code taking you to a website hosting further rule sets. The box is full of wooden blocks, ramps, pucks and cylinders, along with a selection of cards to mark key areas on the tabletop. The pucks are beveled so that they don't simply bounce off the ramps as an ordinary wooden disc might, and they're numbered on one side, which might come in handy for scoring or for identifying which pucks belong to each player. Michael commented in his initial approach to me that he was partly inspired by my previous video, How to Design a Flicking Game. And indeed, you can see lots of the elements that I covered in that video cropping up in the various games on offer here. The simplest games are almost practice drills, an opportunity to build your flicking prowess. The first game involves flicking a disc into a cup. And this recalls the origins of the product described on the Kugo website. Michael entertaining his bored son by challenging him to flick a bottle cap into an empty baked beans tin. The origin story continues with Michael and his son levelling up by rebounding the bottle cap off a chopping board before landing it in the tin. And hence the next Kugo game demands that players rebound a puck off some carefully positioned blocks, landing it in a goal. I like to make this a little bit more interesting by incorporating the included target board for scoring. The third simple game is essentially a tabletop version of Skittles, or 10-pin bowling. And these Skittles are incorporated into several of the more involved games too. Castle Catapult has players jumping their pucks over a wall in an attempt to knock over their opponent's Skittles, which are grouped in different configurations. In Capture the Flag, the aim is to knock over the opponent's one Skittle, which is positioned on a raised platform. In this game, players are allowed to attack and defend, knocking opponents' pucks out of the playing area. Kugo KO is a straight-up battle, with players attempting to eliminate all of their opponents' pucks. And Obliterate is another Skittles variant, with players shooting at their opponents' cylinders through the gaps in a central barrier. There's also a bunker, which isn't referenced in the rulebook, but has simple rules on the back, describing a golf game where players navigate a course before sinking the puck into the wooden cup. None of these games alone is enough to carry a product, but collectively they do add up to a package greater than the sum of its parts. I've really enjoyed laying out new courses, working out my own house rules, and adapting the game to my tastes and my tabletop. I'm not going to run through my usual product design analysis. This is a prototype and there may be changes. But in brief, I love the graphic design. It looks modern and cool. I like the logo representing the motion of the puck. And the rules document is really well laid out and easy to follow. This is clearly aimed at the mass market, and I think it stands a good chance. I can see creative kids having a lot of fun making up their own rule sets. It's a fantastic tool for a budding game designer. The package gives me all the same vibes as the stacking game Bandu, with its massive selection of gorgeous tactile wooden offcuts, or the cooperative Manara with its towers of cylinders. These are just lovely things to own. As a kid, my best mate Jeffrey had a lovely chest full of wooden building blocks, and I was always jealous. Well, who's winning now, Jeff? I've already mentioned my fondness for flicking games. 
whether I'm flicking pucks across a polished surface in Crocodile, flicking cubes across a battlefield in Cube Quest, or wobbly penguins around a school in Ice Cool, or shooting arrows at orcs in Catacombs, or bullets at cowboys in Flick 'em Up, or controlling territories in Flick of Faith, I don't think I've played a flicking game that I haven't loved. Even the tiny element of flicking in the children's memory game Turtle Splash keeps it coming back to the table. It's fair to say that I'm a fan of the genre. So with that in mind, I'm most excited about using Kugo to build battlegrounds for my favourite flicking game Pitch Out. This little gem from Gigamic has flown totally under the radar and it's already becoming hard to find, so pick up a copy if you can. The Kugo ramps, platforms and terrain are going to add another level to the game and I'm already brimming with ideas for house rules. And that's what this product is all about, sparking creativity. If that sounds up your street, then make sure you check out the Kickstarter coming soon. Follow the link in the description. And if you want to learn more about flicking games, follow the link.